Belief in the Oneness of Allah The first article of faith in Islam is the belief in the oneness of God. Faith begins with believing in Allah, the glorious, from which all other facets of faith spring. You must adhere to and acknowledge that no deity is worthy of your worship, love, subservience, hope, and fear other than Allah. Nothing in existence is worthy of your ultimate loyalty and sacrifice, nor worth lowering your head in prostration or humility, except for Allah, the creator of all. Islam is monotheistic, believing that there is only one God, and he is the only one worthy of worship. The idea of multiple gods is rejected in Islam, as is highlighted many times throughout the Quran. They have certainly disbelieved, who say, Allah is the third of three, and there is no God except one God. And if they do not desist from what they are saying, they will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Quran, chapter 5, verse 73. The most severe sin in Islam is known as shirk, which translates to the concept of ascribing a partner to Allah. The term also encompasses attributing divine qualities to any other beside Allah. Shirk is the only sin that God does not forgive if a person dies before repenting. The Christian belief that Jesus is the Son of God, or God himself, is an example of shirk. The belief in the concept of the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a grave sin in Islam. Allah states in the Holy Quran that on the day of judgment, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, will deny ever asking people to worship him instead of God or along with God. And remember, when Allah will say on the day of resurrection, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say unto men, Worship me and my mother as two gods besides Allah? He will say, Glory be to you. It was not for me to say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, you would surely have known it. You know what is in my inner self, though I do not know what is in yours. Truly you, only you, are the all-knower of all that is hidden and unseen. Quran, chapter 5, verse 116. God is the one to whom worship is due. He is the creator, provider, and sustainer of everything. He is the supreme the eternal. God has no father nor mother, no son nor daughter, no partner nor equal. He is all-knowing, all-seeing, all-hearing, all-powerful, and most merciful. It is he who gives life and causes death. It is he who is unique in his names and attributes. Everything in this world, and everything it contains, the whole universe, including you and me, belong to the one God. We use the phrases, my hand, my house, and my money, but it all belongs to God. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Whether you show what is within yourselves or conceal it, Allah will bring you to account for it. Then he will forgive whom he wills, and punish whom he wills. And Allah is, over all things, competent. Quran, chapter 2, verse 284.